Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown from May 8th to May 15th, 2017. Blue. Auroras. Blue plasma lightning. Blue seems to be the color that is pervading our weather systems throughout April. Blue was the color of the Mayan rain deities Chalk. And when we find correlations between the Mayan rain gods in Fuxi and Nuwa in ancient Chinese legends, and when we find Birkeland currents and Earth's magnetic fields inside the Mayan glyphs, and we know that there will be 19% more galactic cosmic rays ushering in more cloud cover, building on top of the 12.5% increase in galactic cosmic rays from March 2015 into 2016, the Mayan rain deities are back. Taking a look at the Alta report, otherwise known as the WebBots, direct hit already May. Humans being afflicted by anxiety. That's the Schumann resonance ramping up as well as planetary geometry repeating something from 1900 years ago, the increase in the galactic cosmic rays, as well as pegging on the unprecedented atmospheric compression event floods across the United States, dislocating populations, strange snowfalls, strange precipitation patterns, and the emergence of new glaciers, California skiing all summer long. That snow is not going to melt during the summer. It's just going to be added to next year. The start of new glaciation. Explosive buying. Third day in a row. Limit up for cattle trading. It's tapered off yesterday. But three days in a row mean your supermarket prices for beef are going to skyrocket. All based on the losses of this unusual blizzard sweeping across the grain growing areas of the U.S., minimum 40% loss in our wheat crop. Hundreds of cows killed or lost in this blizzard. And what they weren't showing you on the television were snow depths this deep, burying cattle alive so they suffocated in the snow. Totals after this, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of suffocated cows. They actually drowned in the snow. And you know I'm always talking about increases in electrical activity in our atmosphere going into positive lightning strikes. Here's another example. 32 cows killed in a single strike. That's not normal. Those animals are so huge. They're insulated with their hooves. This is a positive lightning strike. This is what the ancients feared. This is why the ancients built their dolmens. This is why the ancients put petroglyphs to warn us of what the changes are and how ferocious they can be. The electric universe. This is another example. Jumping over to Kenya. 18,000 livestock, goats, cows swept away in flash floods. The galactic cosmic rays increasing cloud cover globally from 15,000 to 18,500 feet. These once in a thousand year, these once in a 500 year floods are now the new normal. They can be explained through Spensmark, the cloud mystery movie. You can watch that free on YouTube and look over to CERN, C-E-R-N in Switzerland, cloud project number six. Check out their findings as well. Galactic cosmic rays are the reason for all the cloud increases. You're all familiar with the Mayans. Did you know they had a hundred year dark ages? This was brought on by the eruption of El Chichon, dropping temperatures across the Northern Hemisphere by at least 2C. Now, was it a single eruption? It also took down what was left of the Roman Empire and collapsed the Wei Dynasty in China as well. That single eruption pushing ash so far over into Europe that it dropped temperatures there the Rabul caldera also erupting at the same time. So it was not a single eruption. It was a set of volcanoes going off for a couple of years. John Casey, the solar seismic connection, planetary geometry. You can calculate and predict these grand solar minimums. We are entering one now. Expect more volcanism. 
And please join me on Mini Ice Age Conversations for episode number 22 with Ted Marshall Dunn from Omega Gardens. It's a rotary hydroponic system, the way we're going to evolve our food growing technologies so we can survive this grand solar minimum. Alter report for May. Wet bots, cliff high, half past human, talking about atmospheric compression events rivers from the sky. I have two instances here that I think you're really going to like. After I saw them, I was shocked. It looks like an electric scorpion tail. And these atmospheric compression events actually turned our atmosphere black on the radar. I'll show you what I got. You're going to really like it. Major dust storm engulfing northern Beijing. A cyclonic loop as well. Taking that dust all the way through northern Asia, heading to the United States. Speaking of the state's southeast U.S., those wildfires are spreading from Georgia down into Florida. Massive fire fronts, minimum 200,000 acres now burning, and evacuations called for at least 150,000 people. So vast are these fires, they're visible from space, looking more like a volcanic eruption than it does a wildfire.